Welcome. Today we're going to look at creating tables in Maple Learn. Tables have their own palette in the toolbar, and that's where we're going to find everything that we'll need. To create a table, we start with two options. The first creates a vertical table with shaded heading space in the first row. The second creates a horizontal table with shaded heading space in the first column. Both work in all the same ways. Once a table has been generated, click inside of it to access the other palette commands. These buttons allow us to add rows either below or above our cursor, add columns to the right or left of the cursor, delete columns, and delete rows. All of these operations can also be done with keyboard shortcuts. Pause the video here if you'd like to review these. Once your table has its columns and rows, you can start filling them in with data. When you use numbers in a table, MapleLearn will automatically create point coordinates out of your data and plot them. The first column in a vertical table or the first row in a horizontal table serves as the X values and all subsequent columns or rows form the Y values. For example, here, the yellow points correspond to the XA coordinates 1, 3, and 2, 4, while the blue points correspond to the XB coordinates 1, 5, and 2, 6. Further, the headings of a table become lists that you can access. To get a specific element from a table, enter the heading name and the row or column number in round brackets. Finally, you can perform automatic calculations with tables. To fill in a table automatically, in the heading space, write a function or expression using the other heading names. Then observe that the middle row here displays the function f evaluated at whatever I write in row a. There's so much more that can be done with tables and plotting, but that's content for another video. Check out Maple Learn's how-to documents and full document gallery for even more information. Thanks for watching.